Hello beautiful people, how are you? This is Lovely Love, aka Pretty in Pink with Divine Essence Ascension Academy, um, where I am here to tell you every and all things about Twin Flames and Twin, twin Flame Unions. Today I want to talk about um, a lot of the myths that you will hear about Twin Flames. I, I remember watching um, a video with a very, 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 very popular YouTuber recently, and he did a video on Twin Flames, and I'm like, why is he doing a video on Twin Flames? <laughs> Everything was so off, and I love this person so much, but um, there's so much misinformation on Twin Flames that even um, some of the most credible, um, influential, spiritual people that we may encounter um, have this wrong idea of what twin flames are and even um, I've, I've seen a lot of people who you can based on what they say and things you can just tell that these people really and truly have met their twin flames um, but there's so many myths myths and misinformation being spread that we don't know um, what's real anymore and I know you're like but lovely love um what makes you so um not logical knowledgeable <laughs> what makes you so knowledgeable in knowing what these truths are and it's because i've been on this journey for a while um i've received a lot of information on twin flames and on the twin flame journey um and that in turn has helped me to find other instructors and coaches who teaches on the same subject who are actually who actually know what they knows what they're talking about um so and I've been on this journey myself for for quite a while and I've you know I I've, I've seen what 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 happens and so anyway I'll, let's get into it um what are the myths and not one of the myths this is more of a counter to the myths on twin flames and on the twin flame journey and also just some some facts that we should all know so the num number one is if you search for your twin flame they will run and i've experienced this myself on my journey if you don't know who your twin flame is um leave it alone because that's just going to slow down your journey that's going to slow down even meeting them leave it alone just forget the subject act like you don't have one and forget they exist um if you know who they are and you're trying to track them down um where they live or whatever leave it alone all it's going to do is cause them to run physically and energetically um focus on your spiritual journey and if you do have a twin flame they will be magnetized and they they love your energy you're literally one um you're, you're the same so they will come running to you 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 do not run to them they come looking for you that's number one number two is everyone's like oh my god i you know i can't wait to meet my twin flame and they've never ever ever had any inclination of what a twin flame is or anything other than what they see on the internet so they assume that everyone has a twin flame everyone does not have a twin flame in fact twin flames are probably one of the most rarest incarnations on the planet they are extremely rare and not everyone has a twin flame or will meet their or not everyone will meet their twin flame it is extremely rare um and it's probably one of the most difficult paths ever so unless your spirit guide comes on and say hey you have a twin flame you're going to meet them at some point just forget about it and even if they do tell you that forget about it until it's actually in your face don't even think about it um don't give it any energy focus on that's even more inclination to say oh wow okay, i do okay great focus on your spiritual journey For, forget about them because when they do come in, it's they're gonna come in. You're gonna come in at such a such high energy that you won't have a lot of the issues 
that many of the other people who have not had any um, experience spiritually have had. So if you've never meditated a day in your life and here comes your twin flame and you're both like in this mind energy, they're going to take off running as soon as um, that obsession hits. So yeah, um, just forget about them. Number three, twin flames may not recognize each other. A lot of people say, oh, as soon as you meet them, you, you will know them. I met my twin flame and <laughs> I felt so embarrassed. I'm like, I mean, I don't, don't get me wrong. I felt something. I felt like, I oh my God, I feel like I've known this person all my life. And I feel like um, a connection with them and I feel magnetized towards them. And I I've, and I've we, we've noticed, um, you know, that we we looked alike. We look a lot of people even say though you look very similar, um, even to the point where they've pointed out that we actually look like different people. You know, I look like some of his family members, and he looks some like some of my family members. It's it's, it's even to that level. Um, but even with all of that, everything like everything is literally in my face. And I'm like, okay, this is just another person. Um, and even after my spiritual awakening, and I'm literally being told, yeah, you have a twin flame or you're going to meet him. Um, it never crossed my mind. Oh, okay, this it's this person. It never crossed my mind. So no, you will not always recognize them. It may take... Um, it may take a whole lot for you to even recognize them. It, it may be even years um, before you even recognize them. When I mean recognize that um, that soul recognition, you know, you don't always recognize each other immediately. Um, the next point is twin flames are not soulmates and they are nothing like a soulmate. Your soulmate is another soul in another body and you're maybe you may be of um, similar frequencies or you may have incarnated in other lifetimes together so there's a fam familiar uh, a familiarity there um, and you can pulling your your soulmate with your mind energy and and visit them in the astral and what, whatever else you, you, you can do you, you can do all of that with your soulmate they're like a separate person and you can pull each other in whatever okay your twin flame is not the same your twin flame you are the same soul you are the you are literally the same being incarnated twice in separate bodies simultaneously so you're not going to operate in the same manner as you would with a soulmate. You are polar opposites. So you will push them away with your mind, with your mental. If you, if your energy is too low, if you're focusing on them mentally and stuff like that, you will literally push them away. Whereas with your soulmate, you can actually draw them in with that. Okay. Your twin flame, it pushes them. The only thing that draws in your twin flame is you on your on your spiritual journey, focusing on your soul and raising your frequency and awareness. They are attracted to your soul. When you are in your soul energy or in your higher state of being, they come running in. Nothing else brings them in but that. Your soulmate is not... I mean, your soulmate might like that, but that's not... Um, where the attraction is mainly um they may be attracted to your mind you know all, all a bunch of other things but that's it's not the same with your with the soulmates and with twin flames um another major 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 point is and i oh my god there it's the most beautiful thing no there is nothing at all romantic about twin flames Abs there is absolutely no romance and that's another i remember um i'm not even gonna go through what he said but yeah there is no romance whatsoever on the twin flame journey when you are in that state of being 
where you are in a romantic state and you're focusing on your twin they will run like the wind oh we, we have to be together and i love him so much and blah 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 they will, they will run like the wind and they probably wouldn't even know why they, they'll just be gone if you focus on that romantic stuff with your twin that's not what they're there for it's not a romantic relationship it's spiritual it's a spiritual con it's a, not, I won't even say connection it's a spiritual union there's nothing romantic about it Flint next point is twin flames do not connect from the mind the mind the minds are polar opposites and repel each other so when you focus your mind on your twin flame like if you think about them um, oh how are you gonna be in the, in the future if you think about past things you've done together um, if you think about how you want to be with them how you want to do this with them whatever that mind energy will push them away you release that energy you focus on yourself you focus on the now you be in the present you build awareness they come running in um, next point everything is not beautiful and perfect with your twin flame you may even feel anxiety before seeing them or while you're with them everyone's like oh my god it's so peaceful to be with your twin flame it's peaceful to be with your twin flame when you're in that soul energy that's it when you are in a, in a state of peace yeah it's, it's very peaceful it's very beautiful um, but once you get out of that I've noticed that I have like a a, a, a a specific amount of time when I can be with my twin and then it's like I can't take it anymore it's like I, I gotta go home I gotta go <laughs> and I notice he does the same thing too and it's because I'm probably like dropping out of my higher state of awareness and dropping down into mind energy and just I, I don't know what it is I just um, it's like a practice and you have to practice being in, in higher states of awareness we go in and out all of the time um, once once you're awakened we go in and out so you might notice yourself getting angry or anxious or whatever else it's possible it's very possible and it's not always peace it's not always beautiful um, and even if you some people push really really hard against their twin um, and literally like, almost like stalking them and things like that and when it gets to that point especially if they're they can't get away from you it's very uncomfortable for them and it could cause conflicts so yeah everything's not always beautiful it's beautiful once you're in that higher state of awareness and once you're in unity consciousness but before it gets to that point no it's it's not at all it, it could it could literally be a nightmare I've heard some stories um, of how terrible it, it could it could get and it's not their fault it's not your fault it's um, it's just a testament of how much work you need to do to get to stay on your path and for some it might it might take a while but you know others it's it's very quick the next point twin flame unions are like no other relationship it is like nothing else you've ever experienced you cannot um, compare it to anything else and say well I used to do this in my past relationship I'm gonna bring this to, to this you can't do that it is a complete different experience and you literally have to be in it and practice it and to kind of understand what I'm saying um, you you interact with each other differently than you do in, in other relationships it's it's mind-boggling and I, I might get into that deeper at another time that that is interesting to to kind of um, delve into but it's it's nothing it's like nothing you've ever experienced in your life and I'm not saying that in a good way like oh my god you should you should experience that no it's, it's not like that it's it's it can be it could actually be stressful at times of how different it is and difficult it is to maneuver through this journey um, and the next point is your twin flame could judge the heck out of you 
unconditional love and acceptance comes from rising in a state of uni unity consciousness on the spiritual journey. So, so yeah, they could be very judgmental of you, and they will. They they might even. They might even um, call you out in certain things and, and stuff like that, and maybe they might be the your worst judge ever. They could be worse than you. You know how sometimes people say you are your worst judge. They are you. That's the worst judge you'll ever meet <laughs> when you're not in the state of unity. You're not in unity consciousness. They will judge everything about you. Um, and if if you are really in a low state of um, consciousness yourself and you drop dip down into a really low state. Um, you can even judge them, or if you're not with them, and they're running from you, and you're in a really low state of consciousness, you can be highly judgmental of them. Also, that unconditional love comes from unity consciousness, and they push you into unity 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 consciousness. So that's where that comes from. It's not that oh, it's impossible to not judge your twin. You can judge them, and they can judge you. But generally, when you do get together, it's in a state of unity consciousness, so there is no judgment. Um, the next thing is twin flames may not always come into permanent physical union. And the reason for that is because many of you are very adamant about being or staying stuck in that mind energy. And... Um, not very um, eager to go on with your spiritual journey. It it can be scary sometimes. The spiritual journey can be scary. It's it's um it's it's we've never experienced this. It's it's something new. It's unknown, and not a lot of people talk about um, the details of things and what you may experience. So when you encounter something and no one has, you've never heard about it before, it's, it's, it could be the scariest thing you've ever experienced. But if we, if it's something we speak about all the time and you experience it and you're like, okay, you can identify what it is, you're more able to be at peace with what you're experiencing, with what you're experiencing. So yeah, um... Am I like veering off into something? <laughs> yeah, they you may uh, be, may not always come into a state of of permanent physical union because you're, um, many of us are stuck in that mind energy, and as long as we're stuck there, we will never be able to magnetize our twin to us to be able to get into that state um, physically. And the last point: both twin flames do not wake up. One twin flame experiences a spiritual awakening. One, not both, one. They are more spiritual. The other is more in the matrix. And they are more um, focused on things physically and materially. And they, I would say the ones who are more advanced may be like into occultism and, and things like that. Um, but as far as spirituality and the way how we experience it, <clears throat> they may even go through like an awakening where they're like raising in consciousness because there are very various levels of consciousness, consciousness, but they're not going to experience it, experience it in the way that we do. All right. So they could be on their own separate journey. It's for their us, but in their mind and body, they're going through their own separate journey while we go through ours but don't ever expect them to go through what we go through they will never go through that as we're going through it it's, we're the ones that's having the experiences they may not ever <laughs> and that's just how it is but yeah um that's all i'm going to share with you today and i hope you enjoyed this if you got any value out of this please like it um, comment down below if you have any questions please ask please share this video um, subscribe um, if you are on a 20 flame journey and you would need some help with any coaching or whatever please contact me I'm going to put my contact information in the description at this time 
I'm just taking on a few people who would like some help on their journey. Um, we can create a, um, it's like a group or something where we can chat with each other and kind of just help each other out on our, on our journeys. And I'm not asking for any fees like that. So just if, if you're struggling, you're on the journey, um, contact me and we, we can work something out. Okay. Thank you so much. Love you all. Peace. Have a great day. Bye.